He like he like butterfly. No. Butterfly is like. I mean, I've been having a recording session since like last year, and I've never really get nervous. It's just like us. I was known until like yesterday. So with this team, I think we can make it really. We can record something very magical. Back in the day when there was more like artists that were in Philadelphia, a lot of music soul childs, whole albums were done here, Jill Scott were done here. Um, but with Larry Gold who built it, we you know, he was able to attract a lot of other different artists. So Justin Timberlake came in and that's where Cry Me a River, that's where we did the orchestrations here and the choir was done here. And Timberland came for that. I mean it was just if we had a big orchestra here, that's the way I would do it. Okay. Right? Larry Gold started the movement, I think. He, he created that studio. If he didn't make it, you know, there's no scene for that. So he's a creator. He made an ecosystem for great musicians and artists. Snare one, snare two, snare one. Second snare is dead. Yeah. That first one, that boof. That mm -hmm. one? Yeah. yeah, that's the snare one. I'm not liking that one either. Could you play the music? I just want to make sure. I, it, it's got that little top tempo, and I can cut down the f uh, feedback. You have the track on there? Yeah, I'm almost. It's already, it's already maxed. It's almost maxed. So go yeah. all the way up oh. and down the range. to work with a person who have a history with me because yeah. I've been knowing you like and four years. Well. Yeah. And yeah. I know you six <laughs> years. And yeah. I know Naoki like six years yeah. and all the all the other musicians I've known each other like more than three years. And, and you have Larry Gold doing a string race ready and he's been yes. <laughs> he's been doing it for like and I fifty met, years, you know. I met R Larry three years ago at this yeah. studio mm -hmm. and we visited here and we met him and we had a conversation yeah. and like maybe in the future we may do something <laughs> together and blah 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 and it's really happening to yeah. us. I don't know, like calling Larry and was like, yo, you wanna do a string arrangement? It was like Full circle because I've known him for right since yeah. I was seventeen. This is the place I I I was dreamed of like a recording for past three years and I was saying I'm going to record my next album in here and I didn't really believe it's going to happen but it happened. And I'm here the day that I'm dreamed of. So it's like, wow, life is so <laughs> amazing. I'm gonna have him do it the whole time. I'm gonna have plenty of shakers. Get some energy on this kid. <laughs> musicians who have the sound of the truth.
great. I've been having goosebumps. Yep. Say it. Stop now. We can always add snares and snaps and all right. that to it, yeah. but. The great thing about Kari is, I think he's very honest and pure about music, and he don't care about anything else. He just want to create something special. Kari was here when he was a little boy. Right, right. I would say he was more the roots protege. I was so busy. Oh. You were 15. 15. 15. So, so how old are you now? I'm 32. You're 32. So that was 17 years ago. I think you got your real education from hanging with the roots and James Poyser and all those people. You know, yeah. I mean, you learned how to put a record together, you know, what was important. And, mm -hmm. and from Richard Nichols, I think you learned about the Sonics. For me, honestly, this is where I started. You know, this is like a, a great pleasure right now, you know, for me to be here doing this, working, you know, because, you know, this is our livelihoods, you know, and um, just to be able to do this, you know, have his talent, years and years of talent, I was telling you this yesterday, having so many people in the room with so much experience, uh, you know, just makes everything, you know, better, like he said. Makes it easy. Makes it real easy. Yeah, easy. <laughs> I think now has the drive and the talent to pull it off. Yeah, yeah. I think that she was influenced by the soul music and she got good at it. You know, that's who, that's who she, you know, became what she wanted to become because she was had the talent to become that. Most people who want to be something don't really have the talent enough to pull it off. Last night, feel got the best of me. Today, I promise that I now let feel control my life anymore. If this I open door, I'm going to it. Not going to miss my chance to play. songwriting process uh, with Now has been great uh, because one, she always comes to the table with the idea. So Liberation is more about um, uh, freeing myself from the guidelines that, that maybe somebody else might have or I've had um, held, holding me back. We did like four or five songs and each song added to the story, I believe, uh, Now brought to the table. And the story was this young lady who heard a sound. She heard it in her head but didn't see it in her surroundings. So she went on a journey to chase that sound. So it does that for four, up, up top, and then verse. And then you're in the verse, yeah. So. After the key solo, maybe just one chorus, oh, then go to the verse shit. once, then that's it. This is my first time to see Kari directing 
like all the recording, live recording. But he has so many ideas that like make the song more special. Naoki really um, trust Kari's vision, and Kari respect Naoki's idea too. Attention, you know, it goes up like. I think we want to keep that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, no, um, sorry, got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead to the first note. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I know I've been feeling it lately. Oh, I'm so cut off right now. I don't want to hear another sound. Said you won't see her. But her name is Sophie that took a button that I know I won't. Walking so long that I feel like the bones are gone And I just got home and damn I'm all alone 